Thank you very much. Uh, Chief Executive uh, of Enterprise Island, Leo Clancy, representatives of Enterprise Island, representatives of the uh, small and medium enterprise sector, members of the Irish University Association, university colleagues, distinguished guests, as chair of the IOA and president of University of Limerick, it gives me great pleasure indeed to welcome you uh, um, to the Irish University Association and Enterprise Island event here today on our wonderful campus. And you brought the sun with you after a few dismal uh, rainy days. It's a very important event uh, that we've come here today uh, to look at synergies and partnerships within the important collaborations of universities and the small and medium enterprise sector. And I'm thankful to have been able to meet with some of you beforehand and look forward to catch up with you more uh, again. I hope you have been able to witness and enjoy the buzz of our campus as our new semester has begun. Earlier this month, we welcomed back our international students, our postgraduates, and those entering second, third, and fourth years of the undergraduate programs. And just this week, we, we see our new first year students join UL as they begin the educational journey. As we all know, our graduates right across the higher education uh, sector add to the rich pipeline of talent that this country is so well known for. Indeed, the importance of the skills and talent honed by our graduates for the SME sector and the workforce in general is a key factor for Ireland's continued economic success and competitiveness. This morning, you will hear from many voices and discussion panels focused on the development of high-level skills through undergraduate and postgraduate education. You will hear options and opinions for this learning, and indeed we learn about new ways of engaging and collaborating in this interconnected world. I am delighted that we will hear from many colleagues, both at UL and across the higher education landscape on engaging with small and medium enterprises at our institutions and agencies, as well as upskilling through many streams of continuing education and recognition of prior learning and experience. At the end of last month here at UL, we graduated almost 3,600 students, and I'm reminded, I reminded them of their time in higher education, where the values of inquisitiveness, critical and creative thinking, judgment, reflection, empathy, and resilience were instilled all attributes that will serve as guiding lights for their professional and personal endeavors. And they have to bring with them the ability to live with ambiguity, to embrace complexity, and to think out of the box. And these skills and competences cannot be underestimated as the world eagerly awaits the contributions that all our undergraduates make. Furthermore, for our university and SME sectors, today's uh, discuss, event discussions will echo the fact that the attainment of a degree should not signal the end of anyone's learning journey. In this fast-paced and ever-changing world, the need for continuous learning is more crucial than ever, and I would say we really need to think about uh, the predominance of front-loaded education uh, and the relationship towards uh, learning throughout the lifespan and how that is also being financed going forward. It is essential that our graduates remember and understand that they need to embrace a mindset of lifelong learning, what is key to staying relevant and adaptable and open to new ideas. We must continue to encourage them and remove any impediments, obstructing ways in which they can seek out knowledge in unexpected places. They must be curious about the world around us as a capacity to learn and grow, uh, and grow, uh, grow that knows no bounds. It is this hunger for knowledge that will set our talented workforce apart in the years to come. So to conclude, I'm delighted to welcome you all here today and wish you well in these rich exchanges and knowledge sharing that today's event will bring. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kirsten. As a uh, father of a 12-year-old boy, um, I haven't told him about this new um, idea of lifelong learning because he's already terrified about the amount of work he's going to have to do in secondary school. Um, uh, we're now joined by uh, CEO of Enterprise Ireland, Leo Clancy, who will uh, open the event and uh, give us some opening comments. Leo. Thanks, Jonathan, and good morning, everyone. Uh, it's wonderful to be here in Limerick again. It's a can-do city, and I know it very well from having lived and worked here for a number of years. I'm particularly glad about the beautiful morning and the wonderful environment because I've spent the last two days in wellies. 
with mud up to my knees. So uh, this is very welcome and different relief. I have to say this room is just beautiful and looking around the walls, I'm a, I'm a big fiction fan. If I was a student here, I don't think I'd ever do anything else except situate myself here, picking things from around the walls. So wonderful setting and great to be here. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank the IUA for their partnership on this really important event. We'll hear from Jennifer shortly who I know for many years and is a great friend and collaborator, a friend of and collaborator with industry. Uh, so really looking forward to hearing your comments. I've been particularly impressed with how all of the universities represented here today have worked together on agendas like this. And I'd like to thank you for your focus. I'd like to particularly thank Professor Kirsten May and her excellent team for hosting us here at the University of Limerick and to recognize her leadership of the IUA. Special thanks to Leo, Leo Sullivan, Andrea Bruton uh, for the, all the organization around today's event, keeping us on track despite my best efforts this morning. I was nabbed by one of your very proactive UL colleagues this morning for an 8.30 meeting when you got wind that I was down. So UL never misses an opportunity. And it's to your absolute credit that this institution is as proactive as that. Enterprise Ireland's mission is to accelerate the development of world-class Irish companies to achieve leading positions in global markets. SMEs across the length and breadth of this country provide great local employment, and they are those companies from among whom will come the global leaders of tomorrow. Perhaps more, more importantly, though, sustainable jobs that communities depend on are very strongly dependent on the thriving of SMEs, regardless of where their ambition leads to be global companies or to continue adding that value locally. Entrepreneurship is almost becoming hackneyed at this stage. It's celebrated far and wide, and there isn't anyone who doubts the importance of innovative and fast-growing companies in the modern economy. But the lifeblood of any growing business is the people who work within that business. People make things happen particularly for small companies where you can't afford to make a wrong hire at various points in your development and firms need to attract the best individuals despite the competition. In that context, when I met the Council of IUA at the start of last year and they asked what's the most important priority for Enterprise Ireland, they might have expected me to say research and innovation and more commercialization of very high potential companies. But I said it was for graduates to increasingly choose entrepreneurial companies as their first destination from college. Now, in a very flourishing labor market, which is uh, which is brilliant, that can be hard to do. I studied at TUD, which is uh, which was then DIT Kevin Street, and subsequently worked at Ericsson, a great multinational, for 13 years. That was a wonderful experience. But I left in 2008 to join. Um, I left on the day Lehman Brothers collapsed. I handed in my notice that Lehman Brothers collapsed. A 13-year job doing well in Ericsson, and took the mad idea that I was going to join a loss-making startup that was based in Limerick uh, and set my career out there. The first month in that job in January 2009, the company had the first experience of not taking an order in its three-year history. So you can imagine how I felt in January 2009, having moved my family life here. Uh, it became an incredible experience for me. I learned a huge amount as part of a 30-person firm that I could not have learned, despite a wide span of control as a senior manager in that multinational company I was with. and. Uh, then, at nearly 40 years old, uh, five years later, I joined the public service, which my mother was absolutely thrilled about. But that's that's a completely different story, and I won't go into it today. So looking back at my career, though, I do slightly regret. I, I, I feel regret is the most useless emotion, so I try not to dwell on regret ever. But I do regret that I didn't explore a little in my 20s the more entrepreneurial side of life. And I think that's an opportunity that's now open to people leaving college. There are very few mistakes you make in your 20s uh, that will have long-term lasting damaging effects to anyone today. And in the context of Kirsten's comments about lifelong learning, you know, everything you do, every mistake you make, every benefit you get from a job is a learning experience and it's part of a lifelong learning journey. So I think we need to inculcate in the students of today and, and in the message of the SMEs trying to hire them that you can get more breadth of experience earlier in your career in an early stage company, small company, than you can get, frankly, in a large multinational without, uh, without um, decrying large multinationals. More kids choosing that route early on, taking, making those mistakes, getting those experiences is something we really want to see. And the opportunities are much bigger and better than they've ever been in those SMEs. So we are definitely pushing for young people to think about their choice being around an enterprise where you can see your contribution, go to the bottom line every single day you come to work. That closeness to business outcomes 
and experience of so many different aspects of working of a business is something I believe you can only get in an SME. So I encourage colleagues here to think about how we can best tell, tell that story to graduates and that our university system produces. I met our new grads for 2023 uh, during the last month and like the group last year, they are incredible. We've seen our grads not just learning, but leading. And if we can get more of those high potential graduates into our SMEs, I think it can make something really special for Ireland. So thank you for your time once again. Special thanks to the IUA and to University of Limerick for your partnership today, but to the entire university system for being open to this agenda. I know this event will be hugely valuable, and I thank you all for giving it your time today.